Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of CrossFit Classics. We're back here at uh, part two of the uh, 64 Chevelle SS convertible project. Um, our last video, we just gave you a little introduction of uh, what the car is and what we plan on doing with it. And we got it up on a lift here now. Blake is gonna start pulling wheels and we're gonna start uh, going over the brakes. Um, I think I mentioned about doing a dual master cylinder conversion for it so i've been looking looking online for something for that and uh in the meantime we're gonna get the the wheels rebuilt so he's gonna start pulling stuff off and uh we're gonna see what we find what we find here all right guys so we got this uh rear passenger side uh drum off and got it apart you know this thing was all rebuilt you know 30 years ago with very few miles i mean there's a lot of a lot of life and everything. Uh, we're not going to do a full rebuild on this just yet. Everything's functional. Everything's uh, in one intact. We're going to just pull the uh, wheel cylinders off. And these things are, uh, they're, they ain't moving. So we're just going to do all four corners. So Blake's going to get this wheel cylinder off. And we're going to try and find some wheel cylinders for this thing. It's uh, fitting here on the wheel cylinder, rounded off. So I'm not going to screw with it. So we're just gonna cut cut the brake line off and we'll just put some new brake lines on. These were all new. I think they're stainless steel when we did this car, but they're 30 years old. And uh, yeah, they make pre-bent kits for these. I know these ones here, I think my dad just made out of some stock and some uh, fittings back in the day. So uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna cut these off and uh, just put new lines on. Well, we got this wheel cylinder apart, and you can see it was pretty crunchy. Um, a lot of nasty rusted brake fluid, and if I remember correctly, I thought we had put silicone brake fluid in here uh, when we did this car, and that was supposed to avoid all that, and apparently it didn't. Um, I know when we did this car, everything was new, wheel cylinders, all new brake lines, master cylinder, so I'm not sure... I guess it just, uh, that silicone brake fluid did, did draw the moisture that it wasn't supposed to. Um, but whatever, we're going to put all new stuff in and, uh, we're going to put new brake lines on the rear axle too, since I cut that one. So I called our local Napa. I had to, uh, find out what these were. They have a seven eighths and a 15 16 bore listed. So we popped this out here, mic'd it. It's a, 15 16 so it's the big bore so we're gonna run down and uh, pick him up all right guys so we got uh, our new rear wheel cylinders here from Napa came in here and uh, we're gonna get these together get them on in the meantime uh, Blake has been doing some polishing and this car has never really had a good uh, wet sand and polishing in the 30 some years has been painted this was painted, I think it was, I think it was painted in 1992, um, maybe in the fall, I think. But, uh, you know, here we are, 2024, and uh, I'll, be on, I'll be honest with you, this car has never looked so good as far as uh, paint goes. So he's been, he's been doing, some, uh, doing some wet sanding and some polishing here. So uh, he even pulled some of the emblems off, uh, the ones you can get to eat real easy. Uh, this, this, just want to remind, remind ourselves that we're just kind of like, just kind of cleaning this thing up. We are going to eventually pull it apart and restore it, but, uh, just make it look a little bit nicer here to, uh, maybe run around with this summer. So we're going to get back over here, guys, and get these, get this break together on this side. And, um, see this quarter panel here. It's got a quarter panel come out real nice. But, uh. Yeah, we're gonna get this brake together. Uh, I did order some brake lines. They were supposed to have been delivered, but uh, now it's telling me they're not being delivered for the back here. So we're gonna continue on. We get these two wheels done. And I did pick up a master cylinder too. Blake pulled it last night. So uh, we're gonna get these two off and then I'm gonna pull the front apart. Then we're gonna flush the brake lines out and um, get the fronts apart. All right guys, so we got this one all together. I'm gonna adjust it up. Blake's uh, get all the dirt out of his hair. Oh, it's spider webs. Spider webs. Yep. A lot of lot of money here. There's even a spider right there. 
How about that? Imagine that. So, uh, Blake's taking his other brake line off. I ordered uh, two new brake lines for the axle, for the rear axle here. So we're taking that off, taking them off, and uh, gonna take his uh, side apart and get this wheel cylinder in. Well, guys, with the back brakes all together, uh, we make sure the parking brakes work, and they do. Uh, we move on here to the front, and um, we had to we had to actually cut this brake line here. This uh, fitting was rounded off, so cut that one off. And that brake line is only about maybe six inches long, so we we'll have to make a new one for that. Um, got this wheel cylinder off here. Uh, the other side, it come apart a little easier, but uh, the. Um, Blake again. Hi, Blake. The wheel cylinder here was pretty nasty. All kinds of all kinds of nastiness in there. Rusty rusty brake fluid. So I gotta I gotta mic these out and uh, figure out what the bore is. Napa needs to know that uh, to order the uh, correct ones for it. So we're going to get that figured out. And in the meantime, Blake is going to take the rear brake hose off. And um, we're going to flush the brake lines out here too. And that way when we get all of our new parts in, we will have them ready to install and put some fresh new brake fluid in. All right, guys. So... Uh... This is what's uh, come out of our front wheel cylinder here. I believe these were rebuilt when we put the car together. But uh, pick some new ones up. You can see it was pretty pretty nasty inside. A lot of rust. So uh, over here we got a whole box from Napa. Got new wheel cylinders, uh, new front hoses, and uh, some tune-up parts there. Plugs, cap, rotor. And uh, only thing we're waiting on, um, I ordered the rear brake hose. It was not available anywhere local. I ordered it online. So that's the only thing we're waiting on. The uh, the rear brake lines came there in this box here. These, these are the uh, ones on the axle. So we're gonna get get them on today and uh, get all this together. And just wait on the rest of the parts to come in. You know, we uh, have us all apart here. Everything, everything looks pretty good. You know, um, I don't want to spend the time and money rebuilding everything. Everything's fine right now just to drive us around for the summer. Eventually, we're going to pull it apart and redo it all. Uh, may even do a power disc brake conversion on this car. See what happens. Let me just kick, bounce around some ideas of what to do. Uh, Blake's continuing on with his uh, polishing here. This thing's really looking good. The, the door's not done yet, but you can see a difference in the fender to the door and then from the door to the quarter panel. So uh, he's moving along with that pretty nice. So we're going to continue on with these brakes and we'll be back with an update. All right, guys. So uh, we got this side all together. Got a new brake hose in place and we got this side apart. Um, same situation over here. The wheel cylinder was uh full of all kind of nasty you can see here just all this old brake fluid and stuff rusty so um so yeah we're gonna have uh gonna have some brakes in this car once we're done with this thing so we're gonna get, get these uh Installed in the new wheel cylinder and get the wheel cylinder on, get this set up. That'll be the next step. All right, guys, so we got this side all together here. New brake hose on, got all together, got the wheel adjusted. I'm leaving this brake hose uh, unconnected up here because we're going to flush these lines out, get uh, all the nastiness out of them. Come back here, we got. Uh, Got this one up, just leave us hang. And once we get the new brake hose in, we'll um, get it all together here, but we're gonna flush it out now. 
All right, guys, so we got our new brake lines installed on the back. Can't do nothing here until we get the brake. <laughs> Bless you, Blake. <laughs> Can't do nothing here until we get the back brake hose, uh, which is a couple of days out. So uh, we're about done under here um, with what we can do. So we're going to jump up and put the new master cylinder in. So we'll see you up front. All right, guys, so here is the old master cylinder come off the car. This was put on over 30 years ago. Um, here's the new one. Looks like it's got a little bit different bail on top here. Um, I think this is more factory, but uh, not really too concerned about that right now. This is a brand new one from Napa. So we're gonna get our rod switched over and uh, get this installed. Blake has to climb under the dash here to uh, receive the rod so he'll be patiently waiting for me to uh put it through the firewall here right blake mm -hmm. one thing i want to make note of uh this is obviously like a universal application here uh you can see by the casting bosses um this is the one we need so these two have uh they give you plugs with them so we're going to install these two plugs here before we put it in and leave this one uh, open for our uh, main line going down to the distribution block. All right, ready, guy? Don't know. Just the nicest looking thing under the firewall. We're gonna restore the car around the brake zone, brake around the uh, master cylinder, really. Awesome. I'm gonna tighten this down, Blake. You good? The master saw me. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, one thing I had to do here, uh, this uh, bale here, this clip, I had to flip it around, uh, and this is so high that it's, it's just touching the washer pump uh so the one thing i, I you know we're gonna have to do uh, i can't get the cap off so whenever we bleed these brakes and everything we're gonna have to take a couple bolts from the firewall loose uh, just pull the master cylinder away from the firewall do our bleeding and pumping all that good stuff and then uh, once we're done put it back uh, you put everything back on, take everything down, it should be fine. But for what we're doing, it'll be okay. Um, I guess that's the, the, the advantage, disadvantage of having uh, just an auto parts store piece. You can see this uh, this bale here is a lot more lower profile than that one. And that's what's messing us up. And because of this nut here and the clip on that one, we can't can swap it out, so uh, I think we'll deal with it accordingly. I think we'll be fine. Here comes Blake. Here comes Blake from under the uh, dash. He was there getting the clip on. He looks uh, like maybe he succeeded. Uh, mission uh, success there, guy? No. no. Uh, he's uh, still having some issues back here, so we'll, uh, we'll be back and uh, give you an update on how he's doing. All right, guys, so um, we got all of our wheels back on here and um, tried to park a brake. Park a brake works good. Still waiting on one hose in the back. So in the meantime, uh, while we're waiting, 
uh, in between Blake buffing the car out and some other stuff, we uh, changed the oil. The oil had some gas in it. And uh, we noticed we had a, a pretty serious exhaust leak. Uh, we found uh, both of the donuts here were blown out on the um, exhaust pipes here where they come out of the manifolds and this heat riser uh, also too you can even see on this it uh, it was blown out the side here so we get this cleaned off we got the manifolds cleaned off I got new gaskets coming for that get that back on hopefully that'll quiet down this thing and uh, we did the uh, did have glass packs put on this when we when we did the car initially, so it does have a nice rumble to it. But yeah, so uh, we're just uh, continuing on here with getting this thing roadworthy again. So we'll be back with another update. We got our rear brake hose in here, and it is the wrong one. It's um, not even close to what we need. It was uh, packaged wrong, shipped wrong, something something wrong. It's uh. You can even see it's uh, 72 to 73. I went online, it's for a Camaro. So I contacted the uh, seller and they were gonna get it corrected, get us another one, but um, won't be here for a couple more days. So we'll wait for that to come in and we'll be back with another update. All right guys, so we finally got our hose in, uh, the correct rear hose, and I wanna thank the guys for sending us the right one there. Um, so we got that on, we got everything flushed out. So we're gonna put some fresh uh, brake fluid in here. And I don't have the silicone, so we're gonna just put uh, regular DOT3 in, which will be fine. So we'll put this in and we're gonna just uh, get all the bleeders open. And we're gonna let, just let this gravity bleed. Blake's been, he's been doing some buffing, wet sanding. I got some other stuff I'm working on here. So we're gonna just let this uh, gravity bleed. And it's only a single master cylinder, so it uh, should be bleed pretty quick. And uh, let this sit and uh, check, see if we have brakes in a little bit. So uh, we'll be back. All right, guys, so we got our brakes all bled. We did a combination of gravity and uh, pedal pumping. And I'll show you what I did here. Uh, we had to loosen up this master cylinder off the firewall. I got everything topped off now and I'm going to put the uh, the cap back on and we're going to tighten it back down and uh, we'll be good to go with this part. You can see it's kind of tight there clearance wise. So we get the put it back on now we'll tighten them uh, two bolts back up and we'll be should be good. It's not exactly the most uh, convenient method but uh, for what we're going to do with this, this will be fine. You know, eventually we're going to do a dual master cylinder, maybe even a disc brake conversion on it. I don't know. So we'll get this tightened up, and uh, that'll be uh, that part of that. <clears throat> so we're going to get this tightened up, and uh, that'll be it for the brakes. Blake's going to finish buffing this out here. We're going to take it off for a road test here in a little while. Well, guys, we kind of jumped ahead here. Uh, some of the stuff we did was kind of boring, so we didn't bother talking about it. But, uh, you know, we all the brakes are working. Uh, we've been driving the car, got some new tires on it. Not too many uh, companies make a tire for this in 14 inch anymore. So wanted to try and stick with a, with a white wall. And one thing uh, the keen eye may notice are the hubcaps. Um, the 64 hubcaps, were on this car uh, I never was a, a fan of I always prefer these for some reason now these are correct for 65 uh, 66 uh, 65 more more uh, for the z16 cars this is the same style I don't think they're identical but I think they're they are the same style and then the 66 Chevelles had these and this similar hubcap was also used on uh, 68 Shelby's um, some other cars too. I think some of the Impalas used them. Corvairs used them. I think the, there's one company made them and then the, the centers went in for whatever whatever company put them on their car. But I've always, always been kind of a fan of these. Uh, we picked uh, a set of these up at Canfield here last weekend at the uh, SWAT meet for a little over a hundred bucks for all four. And this is just kind of added to the car just to give it a little bit different look. 
and I really think it went together nice. So uh, going around the car here, you know, Blake, he spent a ton of time on this wet sanding and polishing, and uh, even took some of the badges off there to get to get around some of the stuff. Car got a nice shine to it. This thing has never really looked so good, I'll be honest with you. This car was painted in 1992, I believe. And uh, we kind of drove the car, then it, it sat for a long time. So it cleaned up nice. Blake got it cleaned up real good. He's put uh, maybe a couple hundred miles on it since uh, we put it back on the road here. And uh, it's performing pretty nice. Did a little uh, carb adjusting to it. The carburetor was kind of running, running rich at idle. Messed around with that. You got the interior cleaned up real nice. Got some wires hanging under the dash. I'm not sure what those are, but we'll have to get to that. And uh, Blake's going to pop the hood up here. There's Blake over there. Got his red bandana on. So, yeah, just, uh, just clean up under the hood real quick. We had the uh, leaky valve cover. He tightened that down. I think it's seated here. If not, we'll get a couple new gaskets for the valve covers. And still got to buy a uh, correct hold down for the battery. The battery's loose. So we want to get that taken care of before, before that causes an issue. But other than that, guys, uh, I think we're done. Oh, it's one of the biggest things I almost forgot here was the uh, the addition to the front bumper again. Uh, we had this thing re-chromed. Oh, it's been probably at least four years ago. And... It was sitting down in the garage with the uh, that protective wax still on it. See, Blake got that off. And I want to adjust the hood latch too. One thing more I got to do to it. But yeah, guys, I think it looked come out pretty nice. You know, this car is the, uh, you know, it's a it's a 10 footer. I wouldn't say a 20, but it's a it's probably a good 10 footer. You know, this paint, when it was done in this car, I believe the gentleman that painted it for my father was, uh, I think he had a, um, a dirt floor in his garage if I'm not mistaken so uh, you know it was done a long time ago with uh, with a dirt dirt floor under a house in the garage but Blake got a lot of the uh, imperfections out and it really shows shows well so guys with that being said uh, we're gonna enjoy this car for the summer he wants to just kind of cruise around with it I don't have a problem I think it, uh, it's definitely cruise worthy and uh, we may not even pull this thing apart this summer, or this, I'm sorry, we may not even pull this car apart this fall. Um, I want to pull it apart and strip it down and, and redo it again, but uh, I think it's uh, got a couple more years of life out of the paint job that's on it. So we're going to just have fun with it and uh, just show it off a little bit. But anyway, guys, as always, we appreciate you watching, liking, subscribing. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.